Just hate getting on the bike and first thing you need, fuel. Don't know what it is, I just really don't like it. Hello by the way, welcome back to On The Road. And today it's just me and my Africa twin going for a ride. Fuel first, I have no idea where I'm going. I know when I do some riding and I've got about a good hour maybe an hour and a bit before the sun goes down I mean I don't mind riding in the dark it's just uh, not recording friendly I would say what's going on this one Of course, I spilled some petrol. Not very much, but wow. Right, what's the big question now? Where to? I don't know. I've got a rough idea on which road I want to be. So maybe I will do this once I get there. I honestly don't know what I was thinking. I forgot that there's a traffic hour or rush hour or whatever you call it. I'm basically wasting all my time now in traffic. How great. And this is exactly why Rich always leads the rides. He knows what's what, where not to go. <laughs> Well, I shouldn't have left it so long to leave the house anyway. Right, that's more like it. Just a lot of gravel and mud on the road. But, after all, I've got an adventure bike, so it should be alright. Ooh. Uh-oh. Just skidded on that. Oh god. Oh, skidding. I don't think that mud is very good. <laughs> it's the clay type of thing. It's even worse than the normal mud, I think. Well, at least that's what I think in my head, but who knows. Yeah, that's the beauty of riding in the winter. Okay, so that's it. Go left. Go left then. Oh no, that's even worse this one. I don't think I've been here before. I would have remembered a road this bad. <laughs> oh fuck no. What do I do now? That was lucky. Problem with them paddles is that you don't know how deep it is, so is there a massive pothole? You don't know. I always do that. I plot a route that is absolutely terrible, but this is the first time I'm actually recording because I usually ride without even taking my camera or none of it. Potholes. Gravel. Ooh. Oh god. Maybe I should put my gravel mode. Oh tractor. Thanks mate. I don't know. I think I might have plotted the route as a maximum off-road. I'm not sure now. Probably. Well, if it's gonna start looking really bad, I'll take a different turn or something. Okay, straight forward. Go. 
God, what have I done? I don't know, I have a feeling like this road is not going to get much better. Oh no. Well, I do enjoy it. It's just from a sensible point of view. You shouldn't be... From a sensible point of view, you shouldn't be really risking, uh, you know, on um, roads like this by yourself. I can't even lift this bike up if I was to come off. Well, I don't know. I, maybe I could if I was, if I absolutely had to. Uh, but I don't want to test that today. Gravel. I don't really have much experience going through water. And it's muddy straight up the hill. Oh god. Right, brace yourself. Right, it's not too bad. Unsuitable for motors. I did that mistake before. Oh, it was alright. Well, it was terrible, but I was okay and made it out. I surprised and amazed myself how much you can actually do once you're in that situation. You wouldn't consciously pick that road to ride on, but once you're there, funny how you manage. More water. Looks like a bit left. Don't know which, which road is actually worse. They're both the same. All the roads are just covered in muddy slime. Up the hill. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there's ice. Not very much. This is all ice. It's not enough to be dangerous. Suppose if you drove into rode into one of them and maybe two degrees it is God it certainly feels like the temperature has dropped I see is I can't do it. My back is brilliant. I I don't know. Anyway, just when I get, I just went out for a ride without direction. Yeah, yeah. So I just when I get out of here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know what's the best. Yeah, that way, you'll get to the main road. It'll be so, what is the main road? It's not far. It's a couple of miles. Maybe I'll just <sighs> just put it straight. So. Ooh. Ooh. Can't even stand. <laughs> Nothing to damage, I don't think. Cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I thought that I was recording the whole thing. Apparently, I wasn't. I was going uphill and I could feel that I lost the front end. I came off. It's one of those where I knew I was coming off. Woo! Adrenaline. <laughs> I'm okay. The bike is fine. Just gonna go on there. On this bit. It was just about 15, 20 meters. That was really pretty slidey and icy I couldn't get get the bike up because because uh, it was well I fell uphill so the bike was uphill that's one and two it was so icy 
I couldn't really stand on it properly. Part of the experience, isn't it? It is what it is. Lucky for me, there was no car coming from, you know, the other way or wasn't passing anything. Okay. That looks like a main road. I'm back all in one piece. And I just wanna, I didn't even stop anywhere because after I fell, dropped the bike, or just wanted to get out of there and get home. Plus it was actually dark, so there's no point of me stopping somewhere on the lay-by. Um, I'm just gonna look over the bike and see if anything is damaged. That sat nav was all right, nothing happened. So all good, didn't come off at all. Apart from being dirty, my bag slid with the bike. So obviously there'll be no crash but damage. But anyway, they are there for that. Um, no damage that I can see here. I did think that this, uh, maybe there is a little bit in here. Yeah, because that slid on the road, so I could see more marks once it's properly washed. But nothing here, nothing this side. Bark busters. Mm tiny bit in here so no damage and I definitely feel like yes I shouldn't be on that road because I sort of knew that I will drop the bike I knew it was going to happen so I shouldn't be there but the whole ride the road was okay actually only on that stretch of the road I did feel that I was slid a few times but nothing major and that road when I was going just up the hill by the way I thought I was recording but I wasn't obviously it always that way um, so I've got a little bit of footage from trying to pick up the bike I couldn't pick it up myself there was no way I would my shoes was actually really really slidey and it was just so icy on the whole road, we couldn't do it. So two lovely gentlemen, special thanks for them, helped me to get my bike up. I don't feel particularly hurt by this. My pride is all right, and I definitely feel better after dropping my bike today that it was just icy and unlucky really because I did so many miles on those lanes and there was no ice just on that little stretch. Um, I definitely first were, felt worse dropping the bike in Germany when I wasn't just paying attention or whatever and didn't take my leg down soon enough. But, well, all is a part of experience. And um, this is what happens when I'm left alone to ride. So it's your fault, Rich. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Hopefully something a little bit more chilled less um, adventurous.